Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a video on the new Plague Tale game using a variety of GPUs. We're going to be starting off with the RTX 3050 this time. I usually start it off with the 750i. Starting off with 1080p with the high preset. This seems like a good starting point for this card. If it runs poorly, I'll go ahead and drop it down to medium. Though I'm going to avoid because we do have DLSS available to us. I'd rather use DLSS than to drop the quality down. And I'll go up to 1440p as well. See if we can actually match the console's quality slash frame rate as well. Which they're running at 30 FPS, so... Should be able to match that with this card. <laughs> oh boy, this is not a good start at all. 30 FPS at 1080p high settings. So we would be way below the console spec of playing at 1440p at 30 FPS. We can use DLSS, I guess, to match them in that way, but um, just running the game natively, 30 FPS is not going to be happening at 1440p. I can deal with that much. Let's play like this for a bit longer and then I can go ahead and use DLSS. It does look quite good in this game, even at 1080p, so it's not a problem there. But running the game natively, it does not perform well at all. Okay, we're getting 40 FPS now. The FPS is not too amazing, we're only getting 40 after all. But coming from just getting 30, 40 FPS is not too bad at quarter preset. DLSS, I mean. We want to go below balance at 1080p. If you're playing at 1440p or 4K, you can use performance mode as well. But 1080p, I would not go below balance. Even already at balance, I am getting some blurriness now in the distance. It's not as good as 1080p with quality DLSS. But still, it's possible. It does look quite good still. Alright, these are the medium settings that we're playing with now. So a 5 FPS increase, a 6 FPS increase. Or we're playing at high settings. I guess it is a decent boost if he's playing at 30 FPS, but overall, still not the best experience. But maybe at this point we can get 30 FPS at 440p. I still think we're gonna fall into the 20s very easily. But maybe look at that, we fall into the low 30s even still. And the game doesn't have FSR either, so trying out the 1060 or 1050i might be a bit of an issue, because again, those cards. I'm gonna be way weaker than this. Look at that! At balance DLSS, we're getting 60 FPS now. Very nice. So medium FPS. Okay, it's not a consistent 60, obviously, but it's much better than playing at 30, for example. Wow, still falling into the high 40s as well. Now, obviously, you can go ahead and tune the settings even further. I wouldn't use presets because some settings will be more intensive than other ones while only giving you a slight improvement in quality. But, just for this test alone, I'm going to be using presets just to make it simple. Now, just for the fun of it, I'm going to go ahead and test out the performance DLSS as well, just to see how it looks. Um, I don't think it will look too good, but... It's the last time wow, it's not that bad, actually. I thought it would look far worse than it does. It does look quite just decent, still. Work. So I guess you could get away with playing a performance DLSS. Still and you're going to be getting... 60 FPS in this area specifically. It can be worse, I think. Uh, I'll play a little bit longer with this just so we can see if we fall into the 50s. I can definitely see some shimmering and like some smearing, it feels like, when I pan the camera too quickly. But other than that, the actual texture sharpness and quality does look quite good still. Which is very surprising. Once we get up to the third stage, I'm gonna go ahead and play at 1440p and move on to the RTX 2070, which is stronger than this card, so it should perform a lot better. Now, playing the game at 14. Oh, we gotta move. But we are playing the game at 1440p now, medium settings. This is what the console's running at, I believe. I'm trying to match the console settings, so I chose medium. And 1440p is the resolution they actually play at, so... Getting 24 FPS, so much lower than what they get on console. But able to get 30 FPS here and there, not bad. I mean, it is pretty bad, but... Ooh, that feels very slow. On the controller, it will feel much better, to be honest, but... Yeah, on keyboard and mouse. 22 FPS here. Whoa, that's so bad. Let's go ahead and try out DLSS real quick. Probably balance will be a good spot. We'll get 30 FPS with this, if I was going to guess. Way more than 30. We're getting 40 FPS. Very nice. Game feels far, far better. There is a fire scene coming up, I want to go and check that out as well with this card, and then we can move up to the 2070. 22 FPS, 19 FPS, there we go. 
Oh my god, 18 yes. FPS. Let's go and restart and run it back with the LSS. Let's see if we can actually hold 30 FPS here. That would be very nice. Here it comes. Oh, why does it do that? 34 FPS. So a decent increase with the LSS. But you're still not going to be getting above 30. Now with the RTX 2070. Running the game at 1080p with the high settings. DLSS is disabled. Oh, this is new, right? They added this with the new update, I think. Reflex wasn't there before, I don't think. Yeah, all right. We're using the high settings, 1080p with the RTX 2070. And we're getting 40 FPS. So around a 13 FPS increase or 16 FPS increase over the RTX 3050. Before you lot stole from us. Because this area we were getting around 30 FPS and then falling down into the, the high 20s, 29, 28 FPS range. Getting 50 FPS here now. Definitely very much playable. And it's running much better as well. The 60 FPS with this game and this card might be doable with DLSS. But I'm not quite sure yet. We might still have some troubles here and there. I think at 440p for sure we should be able to hold 30 FPS natively at medium settings. Uh, getting 44 FPS looking this way. Let's go ahead and turn on DLSS as well. Using quality mode to start it off with. And we've gained. Almost, we almost at 60 FPS now. Very close to it. So what, a 14 FPS increase? So technically, if I go ahead and enable the balance preset, we should be able to get 60. There we go, 62 FPS. At high settings as well. Nope. I'll be on my way. So right here we're getting around 70 to 80 FPS with the 3050. And that was with performance DLSS. With the 2070 we're getting like around 80 to 90 FPS with the balance mode. I'm very much worried for the 1060 and the 1050 Ti. 1080p is not going to be doable I don't think. Maybe at low settings will be doable. And that's at 30 FPS. Uh, 60 FPS is absolutely not going to be doable with those cards. Maybe if you play at 720p uh, it might be doable. I'm going to go ahead and use the performance mode as well. Just to see if we can get 60. And we're getting around 2 FPS. 2 to 3 FPS using performance DLSS over balance mode. Good. The clear. movement in the grass and the bushes looks kind of off now with performance Please mode. But not that big of a deal to be honest. If you want to get those extra frames, you can get away with using it at 1080p. Alright, now playing the game at medium settings. Getting 50 FPS. Still 1080p by the way, not moved up to 440p quite yet. But almost 60 FPS already, not bad. We are going to fall into the low 50s once we get up this hill. That's my guess anyway. Wow, we're getting 70 FPS almost. There we go, the low 50s. There we go. Okay, I was kind of getting worried. I'm like, there's no way. But 60 FPS is coming through here and there. Alright, now I'm planning about 440p medium settings. Able to get 40 FPS, which is quite good. Or 31 FPS right here. So even with the 2070, we're going to get... Pretty massive dips, I feel like, into the the mid to high 20s. It's gonna to just go away though. If we can hold 30 FPS, then. Nope, there we go. Look at that, 26 FPS. So we can't hold the steady 30 at all with the 2070 at 440p. Obviously, we do have the LSS, so it's good to go and use that, take advantage of it. When are we going ahead and doing that right now? I just don't think it's gonna happen. No, no, no. Run. 50 FPS. Wow. Okay. 40 FPS here looking back. Not bad, honestly. We're sitting in the mid 40s. Almost the high 40s. So very close to 50 FPS. Alright. Now playing with the GTX 1060 with the low settings. 1080p. I've gone ahead and disabled screen space reflections. And I've disabled... Um, Contact shadows as well, just to give it the best chance of having a playable frame rate at 1080p. But even then, we're still getting 31 FPS. Ah, 
This game is gonna crush the 1060. I think this is the first game where you are forced to play at 900p with a 1060. I am using the 6 gigabyte variant of the 1060 as well, just so you guys know. It's not the 3 gigabyte variant, it's the 6 gigabyte variant. And playing at low settings, the game does look quite good still. It's obviously not gonna be as good as playing at medium or high settings. Um, but still looks decent. FPS is not the best still, we're getting 30 FPS. But it is technically playable, I guess. I right, playing the game at 900p now. The overlay is a bit smaller, but hopefully you guys can still see it. But we're getting 35 to 36 FPS, so a slight increase over what we had at 1080p. I'm not really sure what to pick at this point. Uh, the safe bet is to play at 900p. If you want to stay at 30 FPS consistently, you can play at 30 FPS for the most part at 1080p. But in the heavier scene, you will be definitely falling into the 20s. What the hell? I've got an axe. I warn you. Now's our chance. Saints protect. Nope, we held 30 there quite fine. Not bad. Maybe 30 FPS is doable after all at 1080p. This feels so choppy. There we go. 27 FPS. Oof, this feels so choppy. If you do plan on playing this game with this card at 1080p, make sure you put a 30 FPS cap so you actually have a consistent frame rate. This feels awful right now. Oh, there we go. 24 FPS. What are you doing? Stop. 23 FPS. There we go. 21 FPS. And compare this to what we have at 900p. Yeah, 28 FPS. Not as bad as playing at 1080p. We're getting 22 FPS. But still, I'm going to be able to hold 30 at 900p either. All right, now moving up to the GTX 1050 Ti. We're gonna be playing the game at the same settings as the 1060. Everything tend to low. As you can see, everything should be, yep, everything's off. Four set to low. And we're getting 20 FPS. Oh, this is so choppy. You can do it. Oh my God, this is so choppy. 16 FPS. I'm only doing this because I want to see the fire scene at 1080p. I want to see how low of an FPS we can get with this. Probably well, gonna get 10 FPS. I was gonna guess. Or... No, you, you didn't see anything. Run for it. Intruders here! Follow me! Let's catch them! I'll get them! Oof, that was close. Let's go. Yes. Alright, here we go. What the hell? You killed my son! No, no, no! I think for this game, you want to play the game at 720p with this card. Getting 14 FPS. Oof, not the best. Yeah. But let's go ahead and restart this again and run it at 900p. See how it does at 900p and then if it does well enough, we'll keep going. But if it does still lag quite badly, I'll try 720p as well. And we can go from there. Yeah, still falling into... The twenties. You know what? We gained what? Like five FPS, five to six FPS from playing a 10p. Not bad. Still not playable though. So let's go ahead and drop it down even further. Alright, playing the game at 720p now. Game is looking quite blurry. And we gained what? Four FPS from what we had in 900 p Oh, 30 FPS, there we go. Not bad. It is going to fall down into the twenties regardless here. But I'll keep playing and we'll see what the average frame is gonna be. At 720p. What the hell? There we go. 25 FPS, 24 FPS, 22 FPS. So, not much did change between 900p versus 720p. But I think once we keep going, we can see our average frame rate will be hopefully above 30. If it's gonna lag here and there in those heavier scenes, that's fine, I guess. Not that big of a deal. As long as you can get a stable frame rate for the most part, then. You're golden. Yeah, we're getting 26 FPS still. This is a cutscene after all, I guess. We'll see how it runs. Right? Still in the 20s, and I'm playing the game now. It is feeling quite laggy. Yeah, I don't know. 24 FPS. Nah, we're still falling into the mid 20s. So, unfortunately, this game is not going to be playable with this card. Um. Hopefully in the next couple of months they patch it out and optimize it better and hopefully they add FSR. If they add FSR, then the frame rates will spike up and you'll definitely be able to play this game at a decent frame rate, hopefully. Alright, that's it for the video guys. If you made this far, I appreciate you. As always, if you like what you see, then a like and a subscribe to the channel as well. See you next time.